Love in the Villa has finally landed on Netflix and it just might be the best rom-com of the summer. It stars Cat Graham and Tom Hopper as two people who find themselves sharing a romantic villa in Verona, Italy after a double booking incident. Like most romantic comedies, the pair do not start off on the right foot, but as they get to know one another, a romantic relationship develops. If you've arrived at this video, you're most likely wondering how the film wraps up. Or maybe you need an explainer or clarification on what happened at the end of the movie. Whatever the reason may be, we've got you covered by breaking down the ending. Spoilers from Love in the Villa Ahead Love in the Villa Ending Just when Charlie is about to lean in to kiss Julie after sharing a dance, Charlie stops himself and tells Julie that he can't kiss her. Viewers find out why Charlie couldn't kiss Julie when they arrive back at the villa. As they open the villa door, a woman named Cassie yells surprise and then kisses Charlie. We find out that Cassie is Charlie's ex fiance They had been on a break for about two weeks, but this wasn't unusual for the couple. They were constantly on and off again. Julie, dejected by the news, leaves the villa. Charlie chases after Julie, but Julie breaks things off between them for good. The next morning, Julie wakes up to a knock at the door. She opens the door and her ex-boyfriend Brandon stands at the villa's threshold. They take a stroll through the city while Brandon apologizes for his actions and for breaking up with Julie. They make up, although Julie seems hesitant about rekindling a relationship. Meanwhile, Charlie is at Benidili, the largest wine expo in Europe. Later that night, Brandon takes Julie to a fancy restaurant but is unable to get a table since he doesn't have a reservation. But then Cassie sees Julie and Brandon and invites them over to her and Charlie's table. While Julie and Charlie awkwardly stare at one other across the table, Brandon and Cassie seem to hit it off. The awkward dinner eventually comes to an end after Julie ends up drunk. As Brandon walks Julie home, he decides to pop the question. Back in the restaurant, Charlie ends things with Cassie and then runs after Julie. As Brandon slides the engagement ring on Julie's ring finger, Charlie watches from afar. He sighs and then walks away. However, if Charlie had only stayed a minute longer, he would have seen Julie give Brandon's ring back and turn down his proposal. The next day, Brandon runs into Cassie and they discuss how their partners had broken up with them both. As they talk, they realize they have a connection and decide to have a drink. Do Brandon and Cassie get together in love in the villa? Brandon and Cassie do not get together, but there's a possibility they could in the future. However, there's also a possibility that they won't get together based on the last words they share in their conversation. When the waitress walks over to ask them what they would like to drink, Brandon orders them Prosecco, which is a drink that Cassie doesn't like. It's shown on Cassie's face that she doesn't like that type of white wine. But once she looks at Brandon and sees him smiling from ear to ear, she fixes her facial expression and smiles back at him. So, maybe once Cassie explains to Brandon her dislike for Prosecco, they'll get together. Meanwhile, Charlie stands in front of a fountain in a piazza, thinking about everything that happened with Julie. Then, Silvio comes up to Charlie and gives him love advice before leaving. Silvio's parting words to Charlie are LM or Trova Univaya, which translates to love finds a way. This gives Charlie the encouragement to go after Julie one last time. Do Julie and Charlie end up together in love in the villa? Yes. As Julie is about to get in her Uber to leave the romantic villa, she realizes she has left her jacket. Julie goes back into the villa, grabs her jacket, and is about to leave when she hears Charlie reciting Romeo and Juliet outside. She goes out onto the balcony to listen to him. After Charlie finishes, Julie walks away from the balcony. Charlie, thinking Julie wants nothing to do with him, starts to walk away. But then Julie opens the door to the villa and walks out. Charlie tells Julie that he broke up with Cassie and is in love with someone else. He continues on to say that he believes in destiny and that he chooses her, but he's unsure if they could be together since she's engaged. Julie shows Charlie her ringless ring finger, and then they finally kiss and officially get together. I thoroughly enjoyed watching Love in the Villa. Cat Graham and Tom Hopper are already great actors, but their sizzling chemistry made their acting much more believable. What did you think about Love in the Villa's ending? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and if you are new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell icon so you do not miss out on our latest videos.